Hello, my name is Armin Hanvich, and I will be presenting our work titled Rasternet, Modeling Free Flow Speed Using LiDAR and Overhead Imager. This work was developed in collaboration with my colleagues at the University of Kentucky, Simon Fraser University, and Design Technologies. Free flow speed is defined as the average speed a motorist would travel on a given road segment when they are not impeded by other vehicles. In the field of transportation engineering, free flow speed is an important measure used for many applications, including traffic control, highway design, measuring travel delay, and setting speed limits. Collecting speed data can be manually intensive and difficult to scale, which has led to increased interest in estimating free flow speed. While it has been traditionally estimated using geometric road features, such as lane width, lateral clearance, median type, and access points, these features are not always available or are expensive to collect. As a result, estimating free flow speed on large scales requires methods that take advantage of remote sensing data. Recent learning-based approaches have shown that augmenting geometric road features with visual data improves predictive performance of free flow speed estimation. However, these approaches are limited to sufficiently documented roads because of their dependence on these geometric road features. In the state of Kentucky, for example, only 35% of all roadway miles have this road data available. Our work addresses this problem by replacing the road geometric features with airborne LiDAR point clouds. Airborne LiDAR is not only more abundant across the state such as Kentucky, but also complements overhead imagery. While overhead imagery is susceptible to weather and lighting conditions, 3D LiDAR point clouds are robust to such transient effects, but also are viewpoint invariant and provide explicit 3D information not present in two-dimensional overhead imagery. Our approach combines both the visual features of overhead imagery and the geometric features of airborne LiDAR in a geospatially consistent manner using a multimodal neural network architecture. This method operates on all road types at large scale and can generalize to new areas. First, we constructed a large scale free flow speed data set over the state of Kentucky. We extended the existing Song et al. satellite image data set by including 3D point clouds extracted from airborne LiDAR. The speed labels were provided by the Kentucky Transportation Center, the satellite imagery by the National Agricultural Imagery Program, and the LiDAR data from the KY from Above program. Each free flow speed label is associated with the corresponding road shown at the center of an overhead image and a LiDAR point cloud. We illustrate two example roads from the data set, an urban road on the top row and a rural road in the bottom row, both of which are depicted in a satellite image and as a point cloud. We propose a multimodal neural network architecture called Rasternet to predict free flow speed from overhead images and 3D point clouds. The model extracts visual features from overhead imagery using a truncated ResNet image encoder. For point cloud feature extraction, we explore two different strategies for constructing a point cloud encoder. The first strategy, called RasterNet Statistics, uses multi-scale grouping to collect local neighborhoods of points and then calculate 10 statistical features for each of these neighborhoods. On the other hand, the RasterNet Learn strategy uses multi-scale grouping and then extracts learn features using a reduced PointNet++ architecture. An inherent challenge in using point cloud features is their lack of fixed and consistent structure that would allow image features and point cloud features to be spatially aligned. To guide point cloud feature extraction, we propose a raster center grid structural tool. Each raster center depicted as red dots binds local neighborhoods of point cloud features to a fixed location grid similar to how CNNs group features. The raster center enables feature fusion by geospatially aligning the image features with corresponding point cloud features. We pass the raster center grid into the point cloud encoder so the geometric features can be channel-wise concatenated with the visual features of the image encoder. The combined features are then passed to the shared module to produce a free flow speed prediction. We evaluate our approach on a held out test set using the within five mile per hour accuracy metric established by Song et al. Our ablation study showed that point cloud features alone from reduced point net plus plus and image features alone from ResNet did not perform as well as the two RasterNet variants that used feature fusion. Our RasterNet learn model using learned point cloud features outperformed the RasterNet statistics model 
and the previous state-of-the-art method by Song et al, which required geometric road features. Finally, our approach can be used to enable applications such as generating free flow speed maps. The depicted free flow speed map illustrates the free flow speeds of roads from the city of Lexington, Kentucky, where the low speed urban center in teal is clearly distinguishable from the high speed highways in red. 